Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So guys, these are all of the vegetables I actually bought this morning. Um, what I'm going to do with this is actually uh, prep pretty much each and every one of these so that I can properly store them and freeze them to use them later on on different dishes. Now, I'm going to go through each and one of these uh, to give an idea how you can store them. Uh, hopefully, it does help you out in terms of storing your vegetables um, and avoid you going out to get fresh vegetables each and every time. Okay, so let's start with celery. So celery, um, what I normally do is I cut this end. Okay, I cut this end and pretty much use the parts where you have the roots um, and put it in water so that uh, I can plant it later on. So what I use is actually the stalks. So I, I take out pieces of these and actually freeze them. Um, and I use them primarily for soups. Uh, I also use them for sandwiches or sandwich spreads, like tuna sandwiches. Uh, but pretty much the leaves are very important. Um, you don't throw them away. Uh, you can stock them as well. And then uh, you can do a vegetable stock. And this is good for vegetable for having vegetable stock. Kangkong. So kangkong, similarly, uh, what I do is I take out the, the bottom part. Uh, submerge it submerge it in water put it in water um, and when when you see roots you can actually plant it on the ground uh, what I normally do with Kong Kong is I take out the leaves the leaves I use for sinigang um, like pork sinigang or bangus sinigang or seafood sinigang uh, but more importantly is that the crunchy part or the crunchy stalks I actually use for adobong kangkong. So I, some of you guys use the leaves and the stalk to do, do adobong kangkong. Me on the other hand, what I do is I use it as a separate dish. Okay, ampalaya. So ampalaya, uh, everyone knows it's bitter, right? Not a lot of people actually like it. Uh, but one way of storing and taking out the bitterness is actually cutting it in very tiny slices. Uh, and then putting on top of a paper towel and then sprinkling um, salt um, sprinkling salt um, so that it takes out the bitterness typically it takes around the day um, and then after a day um, you'd see the towel moist you what you do is you basically just wash the ampalaya um, and then you can later on store store it okay uh, for talong or eggplants so eggplants um, you can steam this, cut this in, in, in pieces, already steam it, and then freeze it for later consumption. Or you can put it in sinigangs as well. Um, I'll probably keep, keep two of them so that I can grill it. Um, because my wife likes grilled, um, gri grilled eggplants. Uh, radish. So basically, I'm just going to clean this up, uh, take out the skin, and then cut it in th uh, thin pieces. Um, some uh, some people actually uh, use this as a chara uh, or brine this, um, but pretty much you can store it. Uh, you, you, you can pretty much store it straight up, meaning as soon as you cut it in tiny uh, slices, you can then put it in the freezer. Next, okra. Okra is pretty straightforward. Uh, you, you just cut cut out the the heads here, and then cook it um, till it's near soft and then freeze it. Um, later on, just make sure that you thaw it naturally um, and then you can have bagong and kalamansi um, and it's a dish on its own. Sealing uh, <coughs> sigang, uh, I think is what this is called. Um, pretty much, it, it, it's really you. Me, the way I do it is I put it in the freezer. Uh, again, thaw it later on. Or naturally thaw it later on. Next is pechay. So pechay, same thing with my kangkong. I pretty much cut uh, this portion of it and use this portion for a dish. Normally, you just add this in, in sardines. Um, yeah, just add it in sardines so it has a, a leafy taste to it. Uh, but pretty much what you can do is take out this part here, put it in water, um, and then as soon as you see roots coming out, you can plant them as well. Okay, uh, down and sile. So down and sile, uh, pick out the leaves um, and pretty much just store it straight. Uh, you'll notice that it becomes moist. Uh, it will become moist, uh, but still, um, but still, the essence of it is is there. And you can use it for your tinola or your mungo soup or whatnot. Okay. 
uh, onion leeks. Okay, so same same thing. Uh, you notice there are already roots, right? Just take out you know this portion of it. Um, you can regrow this. Put it in water. Uh, this part here, you can already chop it and then store it as well. Uh, it's good to have that stored. Um, you can use it in a lot of different ways. Uh, let's say if you have lugao. Uh, or if you're making pancit or whatnot. Okay. Cabbage. So this, what I really plan to do with this is really uh, hopefully do kimchi um, and then store it so that I have accompaniment in any meats that I might have. So I'm a fan of spicy food, so um, kimchi is always good to store. Um, it becomes meat better, tastes better, sorry, um, as, uh, as time goes by. Cucumber. So cucumber. Um, so cucumber. What you do with this is you actually take out all of the seeds. If you take out all of the seeds and let it dry for five days, you can you can use the seeds to plant. So it's really much straightforward. Use a spoon, take out the seeds, um, clean it up, and then let it dry for five days. After five days, you plant it uh, on soil. After three days, you'll see sprouts. Okay. Uh, what I plan to use for this is cucumber salad, uh, which is pretty much just salt, pepper, onion, um, the cucumber. I use pinakurat uh, because it's a, there's a little kick to it if I use that vinegar versus regular vinegar. But if you want to use regular vinegar, that's fine. Okay, next is baguio beans. Baguio beans very versatile. Um, you pretty much just blanch this. Um, um, basically, blanching is you you dip it in hot water for like a um, short amount of time uh, till, till it's near cooked and then shock it with cold water um, and after that you store it for, for you to later uh, you know later consume uh, the good thing about baggy beans is it's a standalone for me i mean once once you've prepped this you can eat it as a munchie or you can pretty much use you know garlic and butter and saute it uh, so it's a good accompaniment as well okay so uh so 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 all of these i'm going to prepare now and hopefully store um so that it lasts me probably another two weeks uh having all of these vegetables and to avoid going out uh, Obviously, the preference would still be fresh vegetables, but due to current conditions, um, you know, hopefully this video helps you out in terms of storing, um, storing your vegetables and be able to actually use them um, later on. Okay.